Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, your Pacific Northwest Weather Watch. Today is May 24th, and right now we're looking at the visible satellite imagery. You can see the spin in the atmosphere here across eastern Washington. Enhanced clouds across Idaho, Montana. Excessive rainfall outlook in effect out there for the next few days. Thunderstorm potential each day. We are going to have some thunderstorm potential across BC, Washington, Oregon at times over the next few days as well. And you can kind of see the stratus layer kind of creeping from north to south. Pretty common feature there over the Pacific Ocean is that Pacific High. Like to steer these clouds down the coastline in a clockwise fashion. You can see the lower clouds kind of across western Washington and Oregon should be burning off during the day today as well. Looking at this, most days in May above 90 degrees, Vancouver, Portland, Salem, Astoria here have all had 90 degree days plus already. Portland and Vancouver with nine days now. Those are new records here. So we're working on a very warm May coming up. SeaTac right now is at its warmest May ever recorded right now also. We'll see how that goes through the end of the month. This is precipitation over the next 72 hours here. You can see excessive rainfall outlook all the way through Saturday coming up here. Marginal risk for some flash flooding conditions. Inland Northwest, Spokane, National Weather Service. Look at the temperatures increase as we go through the weekend, but there is the thunderstorm potential here, so watch out for that as you go through the weekend coming up. You can see May 24th through 28th. This is day one, does include eastern Washington. Marginal risk for some severe storms, mainly wind and hail threat across Idaho and Montana. Day one, excessive rainfall. Check it out. Day two, almost similar. Day three, again, all the way through this weekend. Watch out if you're across some of Montana, especially the higher terrain, and Idaho out there for some excessive rainfall. This is looking at SeaTac yesterday, 66 degrees, 68 is the high. We should be a little bit above the average high today as we warm up a bit, a bit more tomorrow than Friday, probably topping out into the lower 80s for SeaTac. I was just looking at the European of last night and kind of see this troughing over the Pacific Northwest, but the ridge is building. It's going to start to warm us up here across the region, but then we're going to be playing cat and mouse with this next trough here. Model's been flip-flopping back and forth just how much of an effect this trough is going to have on the Pacific Northwest. So that's something to watch over the next few days. This is looking at three-hour precipitation type. If I scroll through here, you can see the afternoon thunderstorms popping up over Idaho, Montana. And as we go through Thursday, you can see we can't rule out a couple thunderstorms across the Cascades, BC, the higher terrain as well, maybe even down towards Oregon, Nevada. And as we go through Friday afternoon, a little bit similar across Idaho, Montana. You can't completely rule out a thunderstorm across the Cascades of Washington here. And all the way up through BC, maybe even Oregon there, as you can see. Now going through Saturday, again, kind of a repeat pattern here with a thunderstorm activity. But Cascades West, relatively dry and we'll take a look at that map here in a moment. But you can see seven-day precipitation totals. Look at Montana and Idaho, Bullseye, even extreme southeast Oregon. Some of the thunderstorm activity across Washington and B.C. showing up there. This is looking at the GFS. Here's a longer-range look at things. You can see the ridge building, the GFS of yesterday afternoon versus last night. Ridge building warms us up through Friday, but it's showing something similar to the European as this next trough starts to make its way into British Columbia across the Gulf of Alaska here. Just how close will this trough get is going to mean all the difference between warm and, you know, some clouds and even some precipitation potentially coming up here. But as we go through the extended, you can kind of see this low retrograde in the models, and then you can see this ridge building over the Pacific Northwest potentially warming us up. The ridge is going to be centered across some of the plains here in Montana and up through Canada, but it still can include the Pacific Northwest easily, depending on just how far this trough sets up offshore here. So that's something definitely to watch off through the future. But now looking at like 250, 280 hours out, you can see the differences that emerge in the GFS within itself here as the Gulf of Alaska trough is almost non-existent here. And we've got a trough much closer to California. So something to watch as we go through the extended forecast. This is 16-day uh, 16 precipitation anomaly here, and you can see, again, Cascades West, there is that signal there for below average precept Cascades East above average. And this is kind of a feature here that's been showing up a little bit as we get a low-pressure system here that could bring some thunderstorm activity back across the region here in the extended forecast, but that's just kind of looking out in fantasy land at this point. We'll worry about that later. Here we're looking at National Blend of Models. You can see Portland. You know, we're up into the mid 70s today. Things starting to warm up a bit from yesterday. SeaTac 71, a little bit warmer tomorrow, Thursday, Friday. Look at that 80s, 80s for the Willamette Valley, Eastern Washington. Bit of a cool down west of the Cascades as we go Saturday and Sunday. As we go back into next week, though, we warm up and we should be a little bit above average here as we go in towards the end of May. So that might cap off a record warm May here for SeaTac, for example, and other stations across Pacific Northwest as well. And as we head on in towards early June, a little bit above average here west of the Cascades especially. 
This is six to 10 day temperature probability outlook. You can see it does include some of the Pacific Northwest all the way through July, uh, June 2nd here, I should say. This is eight to 14 day. Again, kind of includes Pacific Northwest as that big ridge looks like it's gonna start to develop here over some of Montana and some of the Great Plains up into Canada. Now looking at the precipitation probability, again, that signal here with those daily thunderstorms firing up over Idaho and Montana. And the below average signal here cascades west. This is 8 to 14 day, all the way through June 6th here as well. But anyway, yeah, so we could get some thunderstorm activity, but again, it's going to be staying mainly cascades east. On through the extended, there is somewhat of a low pressure system that tries to set up here in some of the model runs here that may start to introduce some thunderstorms back across the area here, but it's way out in fantasy land right now. So anyway, yeah, enjoy the warmth that's coming up here. We're going to be nice and warm here across the region Friday. We're going to cool back down Saturday here. And then, yeah, I'll be out on the road here probably as we go. I'm probably flying out tonight, so I'll be out there for the next few days. But I will be doing my daily briefings, as always, there out over the plains. So anyway, um, yeah, I hope you guys are liking these videos. Click like, subscribe. We'll do this again tomorrow, and I'll talk to you guys then.